Hi everyone, I am going to show you how to do the big seven method for division. Um, this can be used for uh, in place of any other long division problem and it's called the big seven because well I'm going to show you that in just a moment that when we do our bracket it's going to look like a big seven. Um, <clears throat> So I have a couple of problems. We're going to start with this one, 92 divided by 4. So the basic setup is pretty much the same as we would normally see it, except uh, for this method, I'm going to bring down a line along the side here. And now you can see why it's called the big 7, because this bracket looks like a big 7. So anyways, um, so normally what we would do is we would say how many times can 4 go into 9 and then how many times can 4 go into you know and do all of that that can be a little bit confusing for some kids um, so what we're really doing when we're dividing is seeing how many 4's we can take out of 92 um, now I could subtract 4 a bunch of times and then count up the number of 4's that I subtracted and get my answer that way but that can take some time to do so I'm going to actually take out groups of four. And what I like to teach my students is pick an easy number of groups of four to take out, like 10. If I take out 10 groups of four, then I am actually just taking out 40 out of 92. And now I wrote the 10 over here on the side because this area over here is just going to be where I'm going to keep track of how many 4's I am taking out of 92. And then this area is where I'm actually going to subtract them. So I have 92 minus 40. That leaves me with 52. I can obviously still take out many more 4's out of this 52. So again, I'm going to take out another 10 groups of 4 and that's going to leave me with 12. Now I obviously can't take out another 10 groups of 4 from 12 because this is not big enough to take away 40 from and this is where uh, knowing my multiples is really handy. So if I know my multiples of 4 I know that 3 groups of 4 equals 12. So that's going to come out exactly evenly and I'm left with nothing down here at the bottom. So this, again, is where I'm keeping track of how many 4's I took out of 92. I'm going to add those all up. And then my answer is 23. And you can write that up here. Now it also works for problems that have remainders. For example, this one will have a remainder. Uh, 62 is not evenly divisible by 5. So again, I'm going to draw my line down the side. <clears throat> make my big seven and I'm going to use the same method that I did over in the last problem and I'm going to take out 10 groups of five because I know that's going to be an easy number to take out from 62 and I'm left with 12 when I subtract so I can't take out another 10 groups of five uh, so this is where I use my multiples I know that two groups of five is as close as I'm going to get and then I have two left over. Since this number is smaller than my five, I cannot take out any more fives from this number. So now this becomes my remainder. Add up how many groups of five I took out of 62. So I'm left with 12 with a remainder of two. And that's how you do the Big 7 Method for Division. I hope you guys like my video. Uh, you should go check out my other Tutoring B videos. Thanks.